Are you guys ready for more Rebels? Mom here. Storm here. Kimmy here. You know what we should work on? The Disney point. Oh, okay. Remember that from a long time ago? Are you ready? I <laughs> know. Because we learned from the Clone Wars that they had the Disney point. Not all the characters, but I did not know that was a thing. But that's pretty popular. And our family members, Tom and Heather, actually told us that. Heather is one of our editors, and she noticed that um, I think we pointed or something, or Anakin pointed with the Disney point, and so she told us about oh. it. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's <laughs> so it's a friendlier way to point. Anywho, oh, welcome yes. back, we guys. Like to be friendly. That's right. Yes. <laughs> we are excited to watch more Rebels. We're oh, on okay. season three, episode five. We're not looking at the title or the thumbnail. But yeah, like this season oh, definitely God. has a darker tone to it. I sure mean, does. More mature it definitely tone. does. Yeah. And I think Ezra is turning out to be a good leader. There's a lot of things he still needs to learn, especially like trusting. I mean, I know he trusts Sabine, but he wanted to do the mission on his own. Mm -hmm. So he does trust her, but he likes to not risk anyone else. Not that, you know, no one wants to risk their okay, friends, yeah. and people they care for, their teammates. But, um, you know, Sabine's really awesome as well. And she... You know, everyone takes risks for the cause. And Callus helped her, too. Callus helped her. Right. We love seeing yeah, that. Yeah, we were hoping. Good. I love that secret, yeah. you know, that secret person we have there that hopefully he doesn't get caught. Hopefully he doesn't get. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. that's true, yeah. Right? I'm really that's happy that he is helping. I don't know how far he will go, but that was huge to see. Right. Yeah. I mean, he has a good bond with Zeb now, a good respect between the yes, two. Does, so yeah. I'm hoping that maybe there's even more there because the Empire, as he knows now, just doesn't give a crap about no, him. They don't no, care. No, mm -hmm. definitely not. You know, it was really sad to see that after him, like, barely surviving that planet with Zeb. They didn't care about him. Yeah, they just didn't even look up. Like, that main guy was just like, how are you doing? Okay, yeah. You know, and he was just by himself. So I really yeah, hope he'll yeah. start to turn. Yeah. You know, kind of makes me think of a certain character on Avatar The Last Airbender. No spoilers. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. We'll see what happens there. But Sabine did a great job last time. She got new recruits. She did. They need as many as they can get. They do, yeah. They lose so many people all the time. So you know, and they're good pilots, apparently. So, mm -hmm. shall we get yeah. into this episode? Yes. yes. Let's do it. All right, 305. <laughs> oh, yeah, we love those that's things. Good, yeah. Okay, we're dead again. To an edge. All right, guys. Hera, is that you? Good timing. We are running out of room. We have no other choice. Serious? Yes. My daughter is always serious. Bumped in the family. Shoot it down. Good luck with that. Woo. That was rough. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nice. Wow. That's neat. Jumping backwards. <laughs> Could I do How it about too? me? Can oh, I go? Oh. oh my god. The kid wants your helmet. Sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, first collection. <laughs> the Imperials now occupy the entire Tan province. Oh, oh. What's the Tan province? It's where Hera grew up. What happened, Father? I'm afraid I couldn't save anything when I escaped. Not even the Kalakori? What's a Kalakori? It taught and passed down the line of a Twi'lek family. And I still will. That heirloom was important to my mother, and I'm not ready to give it up yet. Gobi, Numa, and I are coming with you, because we owe you. <laughs> Come, daughter. I'll brief you on Captain Slovin's defenses. <laughs> they might notice her, <laughs> but nice. they won't recognize me. <laughs> oh, God. They spit, too. <laughs> You two wait here until we draw them away. Like the same terrain as uh, the Bad Batch episode. Mm, right, yeah. okay, Sorry! Mm. It's still amazing. so amazing yeah. blind doing that. Yeah. Next to Seb. Well, we got 
got their attention. <laughs> <laughs> I caught this rebel on patrol. Let me go. Take the prisoner inside for processing. I love her accent. <laughs> yeah. Incognito. Chopper. It also happens to be the ship I pulled Chopper out of. Uh -huh. So he still has issues with it. He said the Calicori would be in here somewhere. Oh, oh wow. that's so nice. It is. Eh, we're not out of this yet. Come on, let's go. Take the picture. Me <laughs> too, right? I don't understand why the rebel activity is far <laughs> from here. <laughs> so far, it's right in the same room. <laughs> oh, it's closer than you think. No, oh, no. Oh, oh, I think we finally lost him. Nobody knows this land as well as we do. Sims. You didn't lose him. No! Oh, yeah, good. Oh. <laughs> wow. <Well. laughs> Her. We will. Come on. We just need a diversion. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> Sing with me. <laughs> oh, distraction. Just staring at it. <laughs> oh no. There it oh is. crap. Wait. Right seven. Oh, that's so fast. What is that? God. Crap. Oh, over here. Oh, over here. Oh, guard. Oh, really good, yeah. I don't think I could be of any help to you. No, I disagree. Bring her to your office for questioning. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Gutton, do you recognize <gasps> oh, this? Oh. It was here in my You're office. So I thought I could sell it for food. She's far more valuable than you realize. It's too good. Um, How do you mean? So I will ask you again, Captain. Do you know what this is? Some primitive native trinket. Priceless. To family. Yes, well, she mm. stole it. Yeah, he's War. very smart. War is in your blood. I study the art of war. You were forged by it. May I introduce Hera Sindula? Ah, oh, crap! <gasps> oh, he knew all no the he knew. Wow, oh, he's too good. <sighs> I will keep your Calicori in a place of honor. If I knew you'd take it, I would have smashed it when I had the chance. Don't do it in front of her. I thank you for your hospitality. We should just destroy that piece of twilight trash. Oh, he doesn't understand. I leave it to your command to finish the job. And so I shall. <sighs> what I miss. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess so. Jamson Dola, I would have a word with you. It concerns your daughter. Mm. Where is she? I have your precious Hera. I will trade my life for hers. She will lead in my place. Captain Slavik, I will surrender to you. We know. And I am counting on all of you to use my sacrifice to save Hera and Ezra. Oh, hope not. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Shepard, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh, jeez! Oh, 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 <laughs> We're going to go through with this exchange, but on my terms. Get as many explosives as you can. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how you respond. Sendula, at last we meet face to face. Step forward, alone, and turn yourself over as promised. <laughs> oh, <here he> comes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Everyone it's has a party. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Sad, but yeah, so yeah. <laughs> very wow. good. He's not surprised this guy. Yeah, he's like impressed. <gasps> no. Oh, watch out. Oh, oh. oh nice. nice. Yeah, Kanan. Yeah, let's follow her down, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness! Oh. He's so intriguing. <laughs> not to underestimate you. Fortunately, the empire has not. I'm surrounded by my family every day. <laughs> as long as we hold on to that, she'll live on. Ah, oh, that's, that's right. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, I really yeah, like that yeah, episode. Yeah, that was that was really fantastic. Yeah. Oh. You don't need an object to remember your loved one. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's it's important. Yeah. I love having that. But mm -hmm. at the same time, yes, especially with their predicament in war oh, definitely. and they yeah. can't even be in their own home. You got to right. see things that yes. way. You got to just see it as, you know, the people are around you for the most part. Memories you have to keep alive. And, definitely. you know, there's a lot of things I want to talk about. Um, we didn't talk about before about Hera's mom. Apparently mm -hmm. she passed on. In the Bad Batch, she was fine. She yes. didn't die or anything. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I meant to mention that before, and a few fans brought that up. So thank you for that. And yeah, so I'm curious on what happened to her. Um, I know that they've been fighting the Empire, so um, I want to know what exactly happened. But, you know, it's it's hard for them. And Hera has seen, you know, she's trying to be positive about keeping her memory alive. Like, it's okay. I that's have right, you guys, yeah. and that's a big deal. That's right. It is, and she's gotten a lot closer with her father. Mm -hmm. and yeah, they definitely. Definitely. That's really yeah. good Beautiful to see that. mutual respect. You know, he trusted her to turn around and go right toward the right toward the empire when she was going to go pick him up. And you know, he's he's there more on this mutual um, agreement right. that yeah. you know we have to stick together and mm -hmm. we love each other and we have to you know put away our differences and. Yeah, because the last yeah, time, coming. you know, he, he, Cham really learned that he, um, he, it couldn't just be Ryloth. It had to be for yes. everyone, uh, yeah. the bigger cause, you right. know. So right. that really put them on the same page. And, yeah, so I'm really happy that they're good again, very strong together again. That's right, yeah. And everyone could work well as a team. Now, I wanted to also mention Numa that we've been seeing throughout, mm -hmm. you know, for a while in this show, The Bad Batch, and I... Um, and in the Clone Wars, but I wanted to remind you guys that um, Numa, we saw her as a little Twi'lek early on in the Clone Wars, as oh, a little right baby, oh, okay. and the two clones and the two that clones. took care yes. of her. So um, okay. I'm glad you guys mentioned that because um, we had a few fans also mention that Numa we've met before, and if you look at her armor, I almost said it during the episode, but I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but she actually is wearing clone armor on oh, her, you know, okay. so she's a little girl. So I'm sure we'll nice. see her next yeah, episode, nice. and I'll be yeah, we'll be able to look that. and see. Yeah, yeah. so I've been noticing that more now. Wow. That I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's great. Oh, that's yeah, there's a lot of details, and we do absorb a lot of information. But there are a lot oh, of things so where it takes us a while to yeah. watch something, and you know, um, a lot of people binge things now, mm -hmm. or they rewatch things several times, and that's we've right. only seen it once. We're blind on the channel mostly, and then uh, you know it takes us like once a week that we watch something. It takes us a couple of years sometimes, if not more, <laughs> to watch something. Yeah. So that was a long time ago that we saw that episode. Um, but anyways, yeah, so oh, it's uh, yes. pretty cool that you know she's doing great, and you know yeah, she's also she helping out. And wow. close with uh, Cham and all that, yeah. And so that kinda cool. Gobby guy. Yeah, Gobi, yeah. Gobi, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And that Gobi guy, he was great. I mean, they were trying just to be a deterrent. Mm -hmm. and to get Hera to where she had to go with Ezra. But, like, this was a snag. I mean, this guy is just not let up, you know? And for him to shoot the wall and to have the the rocks come tumbling, tumbling down, that was a great yeah. tactic. I yeah, it was. That. Was I like yeah, seeing that, too. Yeah, like, he's yeah. aiming right at the walker, and he's yeah. like, okay, no, and he's like, nope, I'm going to yeah. do this, and yeah. knock down a bunch. And fortunately, yeah. they went through it, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It was a good stall. Definitely. And good. I like his character as well. Um, and a few fans also mentioned that we have seen him on and off throughout the Clone Wars as well. And again, these characters, even though they're good characters, like are usually like secondary characters. And mm-hmm. he, I knew he was familiar. And we did see him, of course, in the Bad Batch because yeah. that's newer. We yes. saw that over su- over the summer or last summer. Um, but yeah, so anyways, thank you for the reminders and stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah, just cool to see so. these characters come back and help out. Wow, and, yeah. It wow. is. It's, Good team together. Yeah, it's great. Good for Sha- Chopper, too. He chopper. Always good, old he always chopper. Is a good old Chopper. <laughs> you know, he can be complicated in his own way, too, but he is really like the comedic relief. Like, he's That's just that, right. like, comedy that I love. And he just kind of, sure when you're is. in a stressful situation, you just laugh, I'm like, okay. And he does really help out, and he gets them into, like, out of tight spots no, a lot. Sure so that's really. huge. Yeah. And I just love when he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. his laugh. Yes. And it's so that was good. <laughs> yes. And he's, yeah. you know, always pull some shenanigans, like, too. Yeah. And yeah. I love him for that. that. Yeah. I love getting personal with the characters and Hera, like I love learning more about her culture and her okay. accent. Cause again, we talked about that before when we first noticed how it changes back to her normal accent. And we know people like that. I, I have friends like that, yeah, you know, yeah. from England where here they have, we want to say American accents, but once they're with their families, they automatically go back to that heavy accent of theirs. And That's it's right, so exactly. freaking cool. Like, I yeah. love that people yes. can just that do that good. naturally. Yes. yes, I know people who do that too. Yeah. Yes. I was kind of hoping I would have that because I actually stayed in England for about a month a long time ago. And I was hoping that I would have some kind of accent, but it just, I never got <laughs> one from it. You know, sometimes, like, maybe a little, but nothing like that. It would probably have to be maybe over a long period of time. Maybe if you stayed here, I was going to say maybe. Probably yeah, over time. Probably time. Or yeah. So I just love those details. Like, they're huge, like, they're minor, but they're huge details with Hera, oh, yeah. like, just going back to her original accent. And mm-hmm. it's fun. It's really cool. It is, it is. and good. that admiral guy, he's not cool. Thrawn, yeah. Well, he is not. He's you know, so I really cool. like him because it's not good for our rebels, but he's very interesting. He is. Yeah, he's, he's very nice. calm, and he's he's, he's and very intelectual. Yes, and, and, and he's letting them power. go. He has a, a a larger purpose. Sure, he does. And he yeah. lost his cool with that captain guy. Like he um he got really mad at him when he was, you know, because he's kind of like um, shallow, the captain, and he's like kind of, not airheaded, but... And he doesn't, he that, just yeah. thinks that she's just a peasant. He's not looking at the overall picture, you know, yeah, and, right and right literally, right. he's not looking at the picture. Here's this yeah, peasant right with the calicori, and okay, you're not putting two into it, because he doesn't that's know right. the lore. He doesn't know their history. And he doesn't that's care, right. yeah. And yeah. he doesn't, and he's too naive. So that's when the admiral just said, you know, he, he he lost his cool, but then he realized, okay, he's he's completely naive. He doesn't understand. Just let him do his job. I'll worry about the yeah the intelligence end of it. Yeah, because yeah, the captain was like badgering that whole idea for a long time, not getting the deep meaning behind it. And then when Thrawn actually lost his cool over time, and he's like, oh, it's okay. I'll just you know let you know. I know you're kind of. Uh, simple-minded or whatever yes. you don't understand yeah. how right deep you'll this just goes. take orders yeah. at this point You're yeah not even yeah, gonna yeah. be you know so I'm curious on why it. that is if it's this particular culture that got to him or just a general thing because a lot of people don't understand you know or, or right. um, don't try to respect or understand other cultures and there's some something going on with him you know, in his past, yeah. maybe that people would disrespect maybe his <laughs> culture or something. <coughs> but with Thrawn, I kind of feel like there's more there with his backstory that something might have happened to him and he was disrespected or his family was disrespected with their oh, culture. Maybe. And or maybe he just has an absolute love for art and really just respects it. It could be just that. And also yeah. being, you know, who he is, how he got to that stature is because he he's trying to tell the captain, hey, in order to know your enemy, in no, in order to know your enemy, you need to know the history behind what what drives them, what gives them that drive to fight. Mm-hmm. So he knows her dri- her drive was to get that Calicori because that is giving her a reason to fight. That is priceless to her. Yeah, and I to know. the Twi'leks, where it's meaningless to them, mm-hmm. but to he, now he knows, you know, he knows the history of them. Yeah, that's right. And for him that. to be that smart, I mean, he is pretty dangerous, I'm sure, because I mean, look at his stature. Yes, mm-hmm. 
and how calm he is and he respects Hera and he lets them go because he probably knows, oh, we'll get them down the road, yes. you know. Just, Hands down, He has yeah. a plan. Yeah, he has a plan. Sure. So he is going to be a force to be reckoned with later. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, which we kind of started seeing bits and pieces of him. Mm-hmm. And just his dialect, like how he just talks so calm. Oh. It's eerie in yeah, a way. It is. That, mm-hmm. Not exactly, but he kind of, like, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me a little bit of The Collector. <laughs> just the way he talks a little bit. They're very yeah. different, but yeah. just like softly spoken, you know, mm-hmm. just kind of off. always has something weird. else on his mind. But then, but then wait till yeah. later. But, so, later. And it's almost like um, a Darth Vader kind of thing or, you know, it's just really, he knows, okay, I'm going to put this aside. Let them go. Let them win their battle. Mm-hmm. Let them have their day, but I'll have mine. Yeah. That's and sure. it's going to be a bigger day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mind. Definitely. And just overthinking everything but with Thrawn too maybe because he's so successful because he's so smart and he constantly tries to like educate the people around him to use knowledge knowledge is power I keep saying that but um and he's just probably annoyed and he's getting like impatient because he just sees these other high up people like captains and stuff who just are really not open-minded yeah. and tunnel vision and he just gets sick of it and thinking like this is why you guys fail because you can't see outside the box like you know have more information understand what's going uh-huh. on around you so could be that too it's probably multiple things but yeah, yeah. so anyways yeah, i think yeah. he's a cool villain yeah. um, yes he is definitely his eyes i mean like aliens Ooh, can look like anything but like just the red eyes <laughs> <That's> right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All night. Mm-hmm. so can't wait to see the next episode yeah, guys this too. was a very yeah. good episode i want to yes. see more of harris fam and you know, I'm glad that they were positive at the end. And, I, yes. and, and speaking of family, her family stuck together and all went behind her. Yeah, that's right. With her that's good. Mission. So yeah. this is her family, and and she doesn't need it. Yeah, she doesn't need something right. to uh, remember her mom. And that's right. you know, mm-hmm. she's going. She's okay with it. Yeah, she seemed yeah. comfortable with it. And Chan that's was good. also not um, resentful or too upset about the house. No, right, like it was a sad thing, yeah. but yeah. you know that was a good moment they had at the yeah. end. He didn't really hold that to heart, right? So yeah. much. And you know what? Yeah. It's almost, in a way, if you think about it, it was already gone. The empire took it, mm-hmm. so now, it's not really their house yeah. Anymore. And now, you know what? If I can't have it, you're not having it either. Yeah, that's right. Another, that's you good. know, another aspect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to see more interaction with Hera and Thrawn because I was like holding my breath during that. I'm like, yeah. oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, guys, if you want to check out the next episode, you can check out our links below That's on right. our Patreon. That's always a week ahead of everything else. Yeah. And we'll see you very soon as yeah. always. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Check it out. Check Bye. it out. Woo. <laughs>